Hello everyone! It's been a while. September 13th, Friday. Uh, Birch and I are going to uh, go for a fishing trip. I rented a cabin um, up at uh, Point Dubois at Kendall Point and uh, yeah we're just gonna go poke around out there do some fishing. This is not exactly how the trip was supposed to go but um, it's perfectly fine. Uh, this was actually supposed to be an apology tour <laughs> for my buddy um, because a month ago or so we went to uh, Quesnel where we rent an island and we set up tents and Birch was coming with us and you know I had uh, an old 92 Johnson 70 horsepower uh, two-stroke on the boat anyways it got us eight miles down the lake to our island but never started again so we had a couple hours of paddling uh, and then finally we got towed back so that was a, a botched trip and this was supposed to be the redo but my buddy had to bail he's got uh, a project on the go that's not cooperating for him so uh, yeah so it's just gonna be Birch and I so we got a new motor same boat but the boat holds doesn't leak um, it's in good shape and uh, yeah let's go fishing all right we are loaded boats loaded ready to go just backed up to the boat launch here so uh, we're ready Well, I mean, garlic toast, orange pepper, tenderloins, bacon, bread, rosemary, hearty cheese, oil butter. Sandwich meat. Minnows. Beautiful. The rest is booze. Okay, go birch. Look out. Ah. That's better. Well. Boy, cheers. That was, um, there's one section of this river system to get from Point du Bois, the um, trail end camp um, resort people, from their boat launch to Kendall Point where I rent the cabin. Um, there's one section in there that's like bigger water and it was really, it was quite rough. Not too bad, not as rough as last time, but still it was really rough. I had to slow down a bit. Um, going through the rapids, the current was crazy high, um, powerful compared to the last time I was up here. So things must be running a bit better. I don't know. Um, it just seemed like 
there was a, there was a lot more chop and a lot more swirling action um, happening. But we're here. We made it in good time. Um, it's just Birch and I, and uh, yeah, we're gonna just do a couple days of cabin life and fishing. Somebody's got the zoomies. Got a friend. Got a friend up there. There we go. There he is. Oh. Well, or the otter just completely cut my line instant. So an instant strike and then no uh, no lure. There it is. Yeah, buddy. Look out, Birch. Snake. Thank you very much. Look out. Here we go. Little pike. Nothing great. Back in she goes. Whoa. Well, there it goes again. There's that jackfish down there. Holy man, he's just snapping him. Back up. Back up. I think I better put a leader on this next one. That's the otter. Play fall. I wish I wasn't so wavy. It's okay, buddy. Okay, for somewhere new, not new, somewhere different for today. It's, uh, we're kind of tucked in behind the point of a little peninsula there, or an island or whatever. It's a lot calmer here. Not getting thrown around as much, but there's also, we haven't had too much luck here for fish either, so I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> the wind's blowing it back halfway. <laughs> Uh, I mean, what can you ask for? What's better than this, huh? Couple days at a wilderness type cabin with the dog who seems to be enjoying himself quite a bit up there. Hey bud, you doing good? It's probably pretty hot. Maybe we'll take him for a swim right away. There's no fish here anyways. Oh, fish just literally surfaced right here. <laughs> okay. I guess there's fish here. 
huh? Yeah, oh, there was a bite. That was it. All right, we're staying here for a bit, bud. You're not going swimming. This is a good boat. I like this boat. It is 30 years old. It had a 32-year-old motor on it up until about a few weeks ago, a month ago or so, I don't remember. It's got a new motor on it, brand new, should last another 30 years. I can always put that motor on the next boat if I have to change it out for some reason. But I don't see any point in that. For Birch and I, this is plenty big enough. Even Birch and a buddy and myself. It's big enough. Yeah, let's go in the water here, bud. Hey, let's go up here. Up here. Better do it this way, huh? <laughs> Good boy. Swim around. There you go. <laughs> Good boy. Hey, you ready to come in? There you go. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Take that off you now. Hey. Okay. How's that feel? You feel much better, eh? I was getting bites, I don't know man. I screwed that up I guess. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna cast only a couple more times. It's time to get back and cook supper again. This cabin um, doesn't have electricity unless I run the generator and I try not to. Um, so I need a lot of daylight um, to cook supper and have an, I can have an early supper four o'clock and then come back out here for a few hours. So um, yeah, I think that's what the game plan is. Oh, that feels good. All right, time to go make supper. Let's go, bud. This is oil. It looks funny because it is avocado oil, and it was in a cooler, and it was cold. <laughs> So, here is a pre-seasoned carver's knife tenderloin. That looks amazing. There we go, and I'll put the fixings on after, but I'll get that in the fridge to chill. I find rosemary is very flavorful. Got more flavor than time. Yeah. It's like uh, pine needles. <laughs> I'm just gonna get all the prep done and then I'm gonna take a break. And uh, wait till I'm a bit hungrier and go from there. Mm. Man, those are good. Okay. This is really great. Can't ask for more. All right, so we have 
Oh yeah. I've got this on super low. Um, I'm just kind of cooking up the mushrooms, onions, and peppers here. Once they're almost done, I throw the steak on because the steak only takes about 14 minutes, about seven minutes aside. So this is going to be way too much food. <laughs> way too much food. I got supper cooking and I saw the other boat coming back and for some reason it triggered me to remember that I still had my key left in my boat so I went down there and when I went down there I saw the boat the other guy basically take the bow right up on the back of my boat between the motor and the right side of the back hull I mean he was touching my motor but he had his nose right up in there you know I was like, and I heard him in reverse, Wah! with the motor frickin' tilted way up, so his propeller's just tapping the water. Well, here we go. We have a tenderloin with garlic toast, sautéed mushrooms, onions, and orange peppers, and a Caesar salad. So, let's see how the steak looks. Oh, yeah, just like butter. Mmm, man. Mmm, perfect. Mm. All right, well, we're back at the honey hole. Supper's over. I had to move that other boat. Oh, look at the sun I got today. <laughs> I, um... I had to move that other boat to get out anyways, so I moved it to its own slip. There was one wide open slip, both sides. But anyways, right now, we're gonna do some fishing. Get that out of my way. Get this out of my way. There we go. Look at this, guys. I'll show you. It's a little calmer now, so I can show you a few things here. This is a filleting table that plugs in to like one of those trolling rod holders. So what I did, and it came with this, this mount, but right here, past the bimini cover here, is my mount so I can literally Click it in, fill up my fish here. It drains past the cover, and uh, you know I can use the back transom here to kind of rinse things off or throw the scraps in until I can bag them and take them home. But uh, it's got a quick release button, I think. <laughs> it should. Yep, there we go. And voila! Now it's just my cover again. So that's kind of cool, but. One of the coolest things, I gotta unhook you here to show you. I am so happy I bought these. But these are anchor cleats, and I've got I've got blocking, I've got blocking underneath here to hold it, so it's not just in this stuff. There's blocking underneath, but you just weave it in and out, and each of these edges has teeth, so. It, uh, yeah, you can just throw your anchor over, do a quick loop, 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 and move on. And I put one on each bow. I wanted to try them out before putting some on the back, but there'll definitely be two more on the back. So, that's pretty cool. Okay. Whew, man. What a, what a trip this has been. Hey, Birch, how you doing? How you doing, my boy, huh? Yeah, what a trip this has already been. Anyways, I don't see the otter. And it's not yipping at me, so... I'm gonna throw a line in. Hey? Okay. And, uh... We'll see how we do. What the heck is that? That is... Some kind of a crane. Oh, 
there's an eagle coming in to get him. <laughs> I guess I wasn't recording, but we just got a little pike. <laughs> Pretty small. Birch got to take a sniff. Oh, there we go. He's on again, same one. Oh, maybe not the same one. Oh. Nope, bigger one. Much bigger one. Spit it out. Hang on, bud. Hang on. Oh, he's gonna let go right quick. Come on. Here we go. Almost let go. There we go. Little pike. This is bigger than the last one we just got, but here's a pike. Woo. Hey, bud. See? I'm going to let him go. Okay, see? Getting some action. Nothing I'm going to eat, but at least we're getting some action here. Yeah. Ah. Good boy. Well, I can't go any further up river. Um, I'd have to go back down toward the rapids where I come from if I want to try out some new spots tomorrow because the water is so down and this area upriver, just on the other side of the camp there, is basically on a map. It's the skull and crossbones, shallow reefs. It's, it's, everything's wrong with the area. So. I'm okay with that. I can go back toward Lamprey Rapids. There's a nice reef there where you can catch bass all day long on. It's uh, it's not looking good over this way. We got something coming, so. Sorry about this tripod, it's the spare one. My other one broke. This one is not good. I don't wanna go there. That's just a patch of weeds. Whee! Ho ho ho! Holy sh Shoot! Oh, he let go. That was an even bigger jack. I was ripping it in just because it was a bad cast. And he grabbed it. <laughs> All right. Well, glad I left that leader on there because they're just bending the crap out of it. I guess this, uh, This honey hole is a, a pike honey hole to this trip. Nothing else yet. What do you say, bud? What do you say? You want to go back to the cabin? I think so. Good boy. Oh. Yep, mud. Well, day one is down. Got a movie on, it's dark enough now. And uh, we'll see y'all in the morning.
All right. Well, I didn't see the reef, but I'm pretty sure I am at the spot where the bass are. Um, I'm gonna keep finding that reef. I'm gonna keep going back and forth to find it. It was really easy to see last year. Um, so it actually might be a little further out. I might be inside of it, but there was a, kind of a reef right in the middle of this bowl. Oh, hold on. You see this nice little bowl that we're in? I've got a nice rock edge here. Oh, fish just jumped. Literally just jumped in there. <laughs> So anyways, this is where uh, we were catching some bass pretty steady, so Let's see how it goes. Did you hear that? A fish just jumped right behind us. Right behind us, like eight feet, maybe ten. Alright, I gotta get a hook in the water here. A little bit of wildlife going on here. It's okay, bud. Let's go try fishing. Let's go off that point there. for breakfast. Let's get a coffee on the go here. There we go. might save some of this bacon well obviously I'm going to that's a whole package I can't eat that but um, I'm gonna save some of that bacon for tonight for supper I'm gonna uh, maybe I'll crisp it up and smash it up and use it as uh, bacon bits for the Caesar salad or something 
it's weird. I I didn't have my low water level alarm on. It's on now, but uh, like it must have been like a pillar of rock or something because it was like three bumps and that's it. We were over it and we were back in 13 feet of water. So it's like, what? What just happened? Anyways, took a pretty, not a chunk out, I took some chips out of the skag, so. It's not new anymore. I, got a, I had a boat drive into it, scuff up the hood, and now I've scuffed up the skag myself, so <laughs> whatever. I'm not happy about it, but what can you do? What can you do, eh? I hear my bacon. Go lay down. Mm -mm. What are you doing? Go lay down. Yeah. It's so messed up because my navigation doesn't show any of this being a problem. And it's just littered with reefs. What's the X? What's that say? X. Yeah, don't go there. Look at this. So I'm here at the lodge. And the first place that we went... Yeah, we went along this edge, and then we got close to the rapids. Here is, I believe, actually, here is where we went, the Scots, Scots Creek or Scots River or something like that is where this is. That's the reef I was looking for, that X right there. But then I went up a little bit, and I went trolling, and I hit whatever was in here. Alright, here we go, we're, uh, we're out only for maybe another hour, then we gotta go in and get supper ready and start cleaning up the cabin, but it's been fun, so far it's been pretty good, a few mishaps here and there, <laughs> oh that was a take, that was a pike, yeah. <laughs> Could just cast it into a batch of weeds. Oh, no, that's a fish. <laughs> yeah, it's a snake. Come on. Oh, come on, you couldn't have let go? You're almost let go. There we go. Got ourselves another pike. Good boy, hey? Must just be Jackfish Bay now. Oh, well, we still have a head on there. Well, I'm going to just be going back to the cabin now to cook a supper, sit on the deck, probably have a beer or two um, after I prep. Wait for a bit before I put supper on, but then it's going to be, you know, supper, clean up dishes, sit on the deck, and uh, probably watch a movie. So, I guess we'll see you back at the cabin. Okay, yeah, here we go. We're moving now. Mushrooms, garlic bread, perfect.
just about done the trip. Uh, I just packed up everything now. I've got a few more things to get uh, outside. Um, then I just have to wipe a few things down and uh, vacuum. And then I'm out of here. This was, uh, this was a really good trip. It's a bit different. I haven't done this uh, alone like this with Birch before. Um, so it was really, uh, really a good trip. I enjoyed it very much and I'm gonna probably do this again every year. So I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.